Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today we're going to be doing a very exciting bookshelf and office tour kind of video. If you missed uh, my last monthly vlog that I just posted, I kind of did a quick little like apartment tour that was like while we were moving in and things were very chaotic. But now, you know, we've been here for a couple of days. Things are starting to settle down a little bit and I've started setting up my bookshelves and my new desk and office space. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to kind of show you around, show you how I've set everything up, show you my new space and that kind of thing. Um, but before we do jump into today's video, I wanted to say a huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video because you might have noticed this gorgeous desk behind me. And FlexiSpot was kind enough to send me a desk recently. They sent me their E7 Pro Plus standing desk, which is totally customizable. And I'm so in love with this standing desk. I've been using this desk for about a week now and it has really helped with my productivity. Like my productivity has improved to the extremes. I feel like if you're a gamer, if you're a content creator, or if you're just someone who works from home, I feel like this desk can really be a game changer for you. And because this is their standing desk, it's really cool because you have the option to adjust the height on this desk so there's like a little keypad that comes on the left side of it and you can adjust the height of the desk so you can adjust it to your comfortable standing height you can adjust it so that you can sit down which is so cool i've never had a desk like this before and it honestly feels so freaking awesome because you know sometimes as someone who works from home like i get tired of sitting on my butt all freaking day long and i just want to stand and it feels more energetic sometimes when you're standing and working instead so i love that it has that option i like that they also on the little keypad they have like pre save numbers so that you can save certain heights that work the best for you so you're not always having to readjust and figure that out and it also does have a usb port on the side so that you can you know plug in your phone to charge into the desk like it's just super convenient and super handy so flexi spot is currently having some of their biggest deals of the year with up to 60 percent off certain desks so they're going to be having eight popular products during their flash sale which will be happening between november 25th through the 28th and there will be two happening each day and there will be multiple activities such as free order and the free order means that each of the first 10 customers who place an order at 12 midnight and 9 a.m pacific time on november 25th and the 28th will get their orders for free and there is a flash sale for the e7 which is this desk that i have on november 25th and it's 150 dollars off and if you buy it on the 26th through the 28th it's only 100 dollars off so you better not miss this flash sale i will have all of the links in the description so you can go and check out flexi spot i highly recommend these desks I genuinely love this desk so much and I can't wait to use it even more. Thank you so much once again FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video and now let's get into the tour! <laughs> So I figured because we're already in the office, maybe we should just start with the office first. You know, maybe I can show you around my little desk space, show you how I've set it up. All right, so immediately off to the left of my desk, I put up these uh, hanging lights, which are actually ceiling lights that I found at Walmart. Um, it was actually really confusing though, the directions on how you're supposed to hang these on the ceiling. And then I thought, wouldn't they look so cool right next to my desk? Um, let me shut off this main light just real quick so you can kind of see how nice they are they're very glowy and at night it's just absolutely magical with these lights over here so i'm a big fan i'm a big fan and then over here we have this giant canvas that we had from our old apartment i'm not entirely sure where we got this one or even what bridge this is if i'm being honest um but i've always loved this one you know it gives major new york vibes i don't know if it's new york or not i feel like it is i'm just i'm obsessed with this canvas and i love that i have it above my desk now and then as we look to the desk, um, this is another little lamp that I just got from Walmart. It's like an LED lamp that you just plug in. And it's so nice to have this one, especially at night when it gets a little bit darker in here. It just makes it so cozy. And then back here, I have all of my supplies that I've been using for media journaling. I kind of talked about this on my Patreon last month, how I'm starting to get back into media journaling, which is something that I was really into in high school. And so um, back here, I just have all of the little supplies that I've been using for media journaling. So I have like a bunch of different like sticker packets down here and just a bunch of different, you know, pens, magazine clippings, like sticker packets, like different things like that, you know, and I have the uh, Canon Ivy printer up here as well and some washi tapes. And then um, directly to the right of that, I have a bunch of my 
different kinds of journals that are like productivity journals. I mean, this one that's on the top is the media journal that I've been using. And then this one down here is a podcast, you know, planner kind of journal. And then all these down here are kind of like video planning journals. I just have like so many different journals that I use for video planning. And then I also have this cute little um, pumpkin <laughs> decoration still out. Um, I have my highlighters here. These are my favorite highlighters that I use. They're the Stabio, Stabilo, Stabilo Boss. Um, these ones are my favorite to use in books because they're like the pastel highlighters and then I also have you know some pens and this cute little thing and then I also have um, you know all of my sticky notes and kind of like tabs for my books like all of that is in here and then I have this cute little thing that uh, Rachel's boyfriend actually got this for me a couple years ago now it's like a little thing that holds bookmarks and pens and all kinds of things and it just kind of fits perfectly on this desk and then I also have this cute little fake plant on the side because you know it just really makes it feel a little bit more you know lively and so yeah and then I have my laptop of course I talk about this too how I love to change out the uh, month calendar like every month I love to change my desktop lock screen to like a new background and I just think it's so satisfying and it's so much fun to do every month and so that is pretty much my desk space I think I am gonna try to get you know some kind of little like storage bins for below my desk so that I can put stuff that I'm not currently using under the desk and this is just kind of how I have it set up for right now. This might change as I try to get a little bit more organized. All right, and then just to the left of my desk area, I have this cozy little reading nook. Um, I decided to move one of my bookshelves into this office space and one of them is still in my room. And so I wanted to show you, um, this is that white couch that I actually used to have this one when I lived with my parents and then I ended up just leaving it there when we went to our last apartment. But um, luckily this time I was able to have enough space in this new apartment to actually bring it here. And I just love this little couch so much. It's like the perfect little re reading nook, kind of like cozy couch. And this is one of the two bookshelves that I will be showing you today. This is so beautiful. As you can see, um, we have the Taylor Swift albums on display because you know we've got to i actually kind of want to find a way to like maybe put them on the wall but i haven't figured out a way to do that without mounting them and i don't think we're allowed to mount <laughs> in this apartment and so i don't know if you have any ideas of how i could do that then let me know because i'm totally down for ideas but for now i'm gonna move these off just so you can see what's going on all right so starting with this top shelf um these are all of my book of the month books that are books that I enjoyed kind of for the most part like they're not all-time favorites but they're still books that I enjoyed enough that I've been wanting to keep them throughout you know the years or months or however long I've had them I decided that I wanted to organize pretty much all of this bookshelf as rainbow because rainbow is just so satisfying to me and I really love the way that this one turned out um, I do have some like non book of the month books in here like night film and just you know some random ones throughout but for the most part these are all the book of the month editions of them and I ran out of space so I just threw some purple ones that were left over here on the side but I really love how this shelf looks I just think it's so beautiful and I kind of wanted those ones to be out of the way because on this next shelf um this is actually like my favorite books that I've had from book of the month so far and so that's why I wanted this one to be a little bit more accessible to me so I decided because usually I put my favorites on like the top shelf but I find that it's kind of like hard to reach because this top shelf can be very tall and so I decided to put them on this second shelf so they're a little bit more accessible to me um, but I really love to having this in like a rainbow kind of way I just think it looks really beautiful not all of my all-time favorites are currently here you might notice like there's a few missing kind of like um cough the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo but that one we're actually putting it downstairs I'll have to show you the downstairs display as well because there are some books downstairs too and then we'll drop down to this next bookshelf and these are pretty much mostly book of the month books that I still have on my TBR and yes you guessed it they're all in rainbow order as well I'm just currently really into how the rainbow looks I just think it looks so freaking satisfying and it makes my eyeballs happy so that's what we're currently doing I also um put this book on display you know the city we became because not only is it a good reminder that I need to get to this book soon because I've had it on my TBR for so freaking long, but also because I think this cover is just absolutely stunning. Like, is it not? It's like one of my favorite book covers because of like the New York bridge vibes. It's just so beautiful. I love the like rainbow on it. So I just put it up on display for now. Um, but yeah, behind here, we do have uh, more rainbow colored books back there and I just think it looks really nice really satisfying these are all books that I'm still hoping to read you know I did unhaul quite a bit of my uh 
book of the month TBR that I was kind of positive I wasn't going to be getting to anytime soon. But these are all the ones that I kept because I still strongly have a desire to read these, you know? So these will hopefully all be read soon. All right, and then dropping down onto the next shelf, um, these are all of my young adult books for the most part. I actually decided to move this shelf to this other room because if you didn't know, usually I just have kind of like a whole bookshelf that's dedicated to my book of the month books, but I decided to, you know, move this shelf down here because I just thought it would look really satisfying to have most of my young adult, you know, hardcovers all in rainbow order in the same place. I do have a couple of paperbacks that just I didn't want to mix them with the hardbacks you know because I thought the height difference would like drive me crazy and so I did just end up throwing these paperbacks on top for now but I do love how this looks. I love um, how gorgeous these rainbow you know young adult spines are and then kind of over here to the right I included just a couple of different like graphic novels and like the fangirl mangas because I felt like they belong with the young adult section because for the most part these are also like young adult stories but um they just didn't quite fit in with the hard covers so they're just kind of there on the side and then I also have this beautiful globe that is one of my favorite gifts I've ever received and it's, this one's also actually from my sister's boyfriend he's a really good gift giver all right and then dropping down to this last shelf this one is honestly probably the most chaotic unorganized like I don't really know what I'm doing down here bookshelf you might notice in the front here these are all of my book troop picks that I've had so far this year and so far they're just kind of like resting over here like I don't really know what I want to do with these yet um, I might actually move them to one of these you know upper shelves I'm not too sure yet but for now they're down here and then resting behind is just a bunch of books that I still want to keep but I just don't really have a place for them and some of them are book the month books that I've either read or I haven't read yet but they don't really fit in with like the color like the rainbow color scheme that I have going on up there so I just kind of threw them back here and then same goes for you know most of these books back here like most of these are books that I've read back here um, I just didn't really have another place for them and then same with this whole stack right here these are all romances and books that I do want to keep um, I just didn't really have a good spot for them, so I just kind of threw them all down here. And then in the back here, I do have quite a bit of, you know, classic books, which the only one I've read from this whole section back here is Little Women. <laughs> then I do have like 1984 and like, you know, Wuthering Heights and a few other classic kind of things. I also have House of Leaves and Catch and Kill down here. These are all books that I feel like I've had on my TBR for so freaking long, and the question is, will I ever get to them? I don't know, but I'm still hanging on to all of them for a reason, so I do want to read all of these at some point. So these are just back here for now. And yeah, I know this bottom bookshelf is total chaos, but you know, everybody's got at least like one shelf that's total chaos, right? No, just me. All right, so this is the final look at this bookshelf in this room. How do we feel about the rainbow? You know, I feel like I really, really love the rainbow and I love that it's like consistent throughout the whole bookshelf. I just think it's so satisfying to look at and it makes me happy. So I'm really digging it. I also put up these orange lights for now. I don't know if they'll stay, but I really do like having extra lights in the room, especially once it gets, you know, dark out and it's nighttime. It just feels a lot more cozy with like the more lights I can have in this room, the better. Yeah, I don't really know what we're going to do with this back corner yet. You know, we just have so much extra wall space than we're used to, so I kind of want to get something to hang on these walls. I think that would be really cool. If you have any ideas, you know, let me know. But uh, that is the office space. So now let's go to my room. Right, and welcome to my room, to this portion of the apartment tour. Um, as you can see, my room is very white at the moment. The walls are white, the bed sheets are white. There's a lot of white going on and I haven't figured out quite yet what color I want to like accent with. I'm thinking I might get um, different colored bed sheets because I really do love this white comforter that I, that I currently have, but I do recognize that it's very white in here. You know, like there needs to be something more. There needs to be something more going on. Yeah, so this is a better look at my, you know, bed current situation. I love this pillow more than I love anything in life. It's just so cozy and it makes being in my bed so much better. Um, and I have my little dream board up there, which is full of 
you know, book related things, Taylor Swift related things, BTS related things, all of the things. I do have my little book cart. I put all of my little um, BTS magnetic bookmark things on here because I totally forgot that these book carts are magnetic, which is so cool. And if you're wondering, these are from this Etsy shop called K-Pop Greetings. I'll have them linked down below, but it's so cool because these are little bookmarks that you can use in your book and they're magnetic and they're all little drawings of BTS and these specific drawings are from their yet to come music video and I'm just obsessed like are they not so freaking cute like so adorable so yeah their Etsy will be linked down below if you want to go and check them out but yeah then down here these are all of the books that I currently have on my like immediate TBR so these are like the books that I'm hoping to read throughout November I thought it would be nice to have them you know kind of right next to my bed easy access be able to just reach down and grab whatever I want to read next and then above my little book cart I have more dangly lights and these ones the batteries and them aren't very good right now so you can't really see them but they're also kind of like these glowy pink purple blue ombre lights that I just absolutely love. I do need to change the batteries though so that they can be a little bit brighter than they currently are. I'm a big um, lights and vibes person and I love having different kinds of, you know, moody lights in my room. I also do have this um, Decala lamp back here and this one also does light up at night and it turns like different colors. It's just very satisfying. And then right to the right here we have, you know, my guitar. We have a tripod over there and then we have this bookshelf that is also the main other bookshelf that I want to be showing you in this video and as you can see on this bookshelf I also have this Decala lamp which I'm a huge fan of these Decala lamps I think they're just so nice and they just add so much cozy ambiance with the colors in the room <laughs> starting with this top shelf here this is once again my thriller bookshelf that's at the top I dedicated this whole shelf just for the thrillers because I'm a big thriller reader and I have a lot of thriller faves and so these are pretty much all the thrillers that are like not from book of the month. These are just like the regular paperbacks, hardbacks, arc copies, different stuff like that. But yeah, as you can see, I tried to do, I guess like a little bit of a rainbow going on here, but for the most part, it's just kind of random. Um, I do have a candle on this shelf as well as this cute little decorative pumpkin and then as well as this really beautiful fake plant. Sadly, it's fake, but it's really beautiful. <laughs> I love the way it like dangles over the shelf. But yeah, moving from the top shelf to the second shelf, this is where things get fun because it's my horror bookshelf and I've decided to dedicate a whole shelf just for horror now because I used to have my horror and my sci-fi all on the same shelf but it was starting to get a little bit crowded you know because I'm becoming quite the avid horror reader and so I decided to have this shelf you know just dedicated to horror books so um, as you can see I have my favorite book of the year We Spread on display because I just think the cover is really beautiful and stunning and I've just been thinking about this book a whole lot lately. It's like really changed my life to be honest and so I just wanted it on display. Uh, but behind here we do have, you know, a pretty good stack of horror back here. We have some of my all-time faves. Yeah, and then directly to the right we have even more horror books. Let me move this. This is um from my friend Alicia, by the way. This is so freaking cute. And I just love that it fits so perfect to go on the horror bookshelf. Here I have a lot of different novellas. And then I have, you know, some regular thick size horror books. And then over here I have even more novellas and things. Also, Petrified Women is such a small book that there's not even really a spine for it. So I thought having it on display would be cooler instead of having it showing, you know, the spine. Because the shelf isn't quite full yet, I decided to put this little um, you know, curses, potions, and poisons. Uh, adorable little thing that my mom got me this. I think she found it at like Value Village. It's just this cute little decorative thing. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm so obsessed with it. I think it looks so cute and it's perfect for like the horror bookshelf, you know? It just gives very good vibes. I also do have this amber and bergamot candle on this shelf, which I would argue that these are the two best scents. Like anything with amber and bergamot in it tends to be my favorite. So like those are my two favorite scents. And then dropping down from the horror bookshelf, we take a complete 360 because this is my romance bookshelf. Sorry, let me move that lamp out of the way so you can get a better view of what's happening back here. There is really no organization to this shelf. Um, I just have a bunch of different, you know, romance books, including the Heartstopper graphic novel series here. I try to keep most of my romance series together, like the Written in the Stars, you know, Alexandria Bella Fleur series over here. And then, I don't know, there's just a bunch of different romance books that I've really enjoyed throughout the years. And these are some of my all time faves. So I love having them all together on the same shelf right here. I also do have the uh, Proof BTS album on display here just because I feel like I need to have it out on display. You know, it's a really, it's a really beautiful album. I also have this really cute 
Taylor candle from Novel Wicks. Um, I'll have it linked below if you want to check it out. I love this candle. She did these for Midnight's. It's so cool because the candle itself is, you know, pink, but then the top is this like glittery purple and there's like a wood wick in there and it's just oh my god it's so magical i love these candles so much like murphy is the best and then dropping down from the romance next um this is a shelf that is still kind of like in the works if i'm being honest um because this is my kind of sci-fi shelf that's happening over here and then also manga because i've been getting really into manga lately and i wanted kind of like a dedicated space on my bookshelves for them and so i thought because i don't have too many sci-fi because i don't have too many mangas yet it would be a good place to have both of them and so yeah over here to the right these are some of my favorite sci-fi ish books you know some of them aren't totally sci-fi like the one would definitely be considered like a sci-fi thriller but all of these books are kind of like sci-fi ish and I just thought they belong very nicely all together down here. And then I put Upgrade on display because Upgrade is like one of my favorite sci-fi books of the year and that I've ever read. And so I just wanted to have it here. I also do have this cute little pumpkin and a cute little candle. In the front here, this is the stack of manga that I've read that I own. And so these are the ones, except for this one on top, this is a library checkout currently, but these are the only ones that I've read that I own. And so I wanted to put them in the front so I could show them off. And then all of these behind here, these are all of the mangas that I own that I have not yet read because I just placed a huge manga order very recently. So I just got a ton of these like in the mail at the same time recently. And I just love seeing it all stacked like this. It's just so inspiring and I can't wait to read all of these. And so I just love having it all like in one place, you know? I feel like I wanted to have the manga kind of separate from the rest of my regular books. I feel like this bookshelf too, like it looks a little bit bare right now, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like as I start to read more sci-fi, more manga, it'll definitely start to fill out. All right, and then moving down to the final last bookshelf down here. These are all books that are currently on my TBR that are kind of like a high priority for me. So these are all books that I would like to get to sooner rather than later. Some of these are books that have been on my TBR for quite some time, but I do my best, you know, to try and pull books from this shelf to be my TBR for like the next couple of months or for some of these books I do have plans to currently read them but yeah back here you know we just have a bunch of different like thrillers and different you know I don't know there's a whole bunch of different stuff down here most of it is thrillers though there's a lot of thrillers there's a lot of horror I've been keeping uh books that I've recently been sent in the mail so like I can keep track of upcoming book hauls like which books I've received recently will go here. Speaking of which, uh, Legends and Lattes. Oh my gosh, so excited to check this one out. I've heard really good things about it and that it's really cute. But yeah, um, these are all of the books that I have on my current, you know, TBR. These are the ones I'm hoping to get to soon. I also put these two books down here because I'm also trying to prioritize these and I didn't have exactly enough space for them to go on the cart. So that's why they're in the front. All right, so let's just do a quick pan over this bookshelf. I do really love this bookshelf. I love having this one in my room and just getting to, you know, stare at all of my favorite books and then to have like my kind of TBR on the bottom there. It's just really convenient for me. It works well for me, you know? Okay, and then lastly, I just wanted to show you, this is our, you know, current TV stand situation that we have going on downstairs. Rachel was like, why don't we put books down here that are like either all black spines or gray? We ended up, you know, choosing these books and designing it this way. I just think it looks so freaking beautiful. So over here on the right, we have, you know, some of my all time favorite books like Evelyn Hugo, History of Wild Places, Hearts and Visible Furies, The Maidens, and The Four Winds are over here. I just think they look very um, aesthetically pleasing all together. And that's kind of the whole goal with the bookshelves that are on this TV stand to look this way. Down here on this shelf, we have just you know, some kind of black spines that I think look really nice all together. I know it kind of bothers me that this one's a little bit shorter than the rest, but you know what? It, it's, it does what it came to do, you know, like it's fine. These three books that kind of all have this like black and gold on the, on the spines. And then we also put this cute little uh, plant on top of there, but I just love how that looks. I think that looks so beautiful and so aesthetic. And I love having Project Hail Mary and Addie LaRue right next to each other because those are two of my favorites. And then down here, we just have, you know, some kind of gray spines that look really nice together. You know, Barack Obama book. We have On Earth, We're Briefly, Briefly Gorgeous, which I still need to read this one. And then we have A Little Life, which is one of my all-time favorite books. And then Jane Eyre, which is a classic that I still need to read. And yeah, I'm not totally sure if we'll keep it this way, you know. We might end up switching out books for, like, different seasons. So, like, around Christmas time, and maybe we'll change it so it's, like, red and green books. Like, I think that would be really cool. But for now... 
this is how we have it set up and I think it looks really nice. All right, so that is a wrap on the apartment and bedroom and office tour. Let me know what you think, if you have any ideas about how I could like better organize anything. I feel like this apartment, it's obviously still a work in progress because we've only been, you know, really living here for a couple of days now, but I really do love how we're setting everything up. I think it feels really nice and cozy and I can't wait to figure out like more spots in the room to film in. I mean, as you can see, I just set up the camera right here and I like <laughs> love this background. I think this background looks really cool and it could really work for me. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I would love to know too, like how do you organize your bookshelves? Because I'm always considering and thinking of different ways that I could organize mine. I do like to have mine separated with like red books and un unread books for the most part. Like I like to have the TBR separate from the books that I've read. But then also like lately, I'm always debating whether I want them organized by genre or by rainbow or even by like author last name. Like do people even still do that? Like I don't know. But let me know how you organize your bookshelves and let me know what you think of the new space. I'm really excited about this new apartment and I appreciate you all so much for being here. If you are curious, I have done videos like this in the past where I've done kind of like bookshelf tours of how I've set up the bookshelves in past years. And so if you want to see any of those, I'll have those linked down below. Also, if you are curious, these wooden bookshelves that I have, they are from Target. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.